Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see a way through which we can quickly find a particular UI action in ServiceNow. Okay, so let's see what is the problem. Now suppose you got the requirement to update the functionality of update button of incident form. Okay, so what we do is that we have to go to the UI actions list so that we can find the update button and update the functionality of it. Okay. So this is the UI action update. Now we will open the UI actions list. So we will click on all navigation menu and in the filter navigator, we are going to type UI actions. Okay. Now under the system definition, we are going to click on UI actions. Okay. Control click so that it will open the UI actions list in new tab. Okay. Now with the help of wildcard search, we are going to find the update UI action. So in the name search box, we are going to use the wildcard search equals to update. So it will give us the UI actions in which the name is update. So if we hit enter, how many records we received back? We received 50 records. Now, which one is for incident? So, where we find this particular UI action update which is being used on incident form. So, which one is for incident? Okay, correct. We can find it with the help of table. Let's see. With the help of wildcard searches, asterisk, incident. Okay, let's see. No records found. Then, how we will find this particular UI action update of the incident form? Okay, so this is the problem. Then, how we can find the record for update UI action that is present on the incident form? Right now, we are seeing the incident form. Okay, but this is a web page. Okay, and web page is made up of HTML components. Okay, HTML components like these are the buttons, this is the link. Okay, this is a input box, this is the label. Okay, these are the components of HTML. Now, with the help of HTML component, we are going to find the update UI action. So, how we can do is that either you right click here and find the inspect option here and click on it or you can control shift plus i to open the browser dev tools. Okay. Now, once the browser dev tools appears, you have to click on element selector. So, click here. Okay. Once we click it here, now we are going to hover over the elements as you can see that we are hovering over the elements okay now we are going to hover over the update element this is the button element so we are going to click here okay once we click on it in the elements we can see that this particular button is being highlighted okay now here we will see gsft underscore id okay double click here copy this okay this is the sys id for this update ui action okay now if we go back to our ui actions list and use the filter to find that particular record and in the field we are going to select sys id Okay, hit enter. Operator will be is and the value will be that we have copied. Okay, now we are going to run it. Okay, now this is the particular UI action that is present on the incident form. Okay, you can see the action name is present here. It is saying sys verb underscore update which is being presented in this record so if we open this record of update 
okay here you can see the xn name it is saying sys verb underscore update which you are seeing here with the attribute data xn name sys verb underscore update okay and we can see the name is presented here update and it is enclosed in the button component of html okay so if you want to find another ui action for any form of a table you can do with this approach okay click on element selector now hover over the resolve ui action and let's find the resolve ui action so this is the gs ft underscore id we are going to copy this now if we go back to our ui actions list use the filter replace this id with the one which we have copied run it now you can see that we have found a resolve ui action that is present on incident form okay and it is also saying that it is applicable on incident table okay so if we open this record here it is saying data action name is resolve underscore incident and if we go back to our resolve ui action we can see the action name is resolve underscore incident okay so that's how you can find the ui action of the form of a table very quickly by following this approach okay if you like this video do share the videos with others subscribe the channel for more videos like this thank you for watching this video bye bye